Mary Abigail Wambach, born June 2, 1980, is an American soccer player, coach, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and the 2012 FIFA World Player of the Year. Wambach has played for the United States women's national soccer team since 2001. She played college soccer for the Florida Gators women's soccer team while attending the University of Florida, helped the Gators win their first NCAA Division I Women's Soccer Championship, and was recognized as a three-time All-American. Wambach has played at the professional level for Washington Freedom, Magic Jack, and the Western New York Flash. Her playing rights are currently held by Seattle Reign FC though she did not play professionally in 2015, in order to prepare for the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup, in which she played. A six-time winner of the U.S. Soccer Athlete of the Year Award, Wambach has been a regular on the U.S. women's national soccer team since 2003. As a forward, she currently stands as the highest all-time goal scorer for the national team and holds the world record for international goals for both female and male soccer players with 184 goals. Wambach has competed in four FIFA Women's World Cup tournaments, 2003 in the United States, 2007 in China, 2011 in Germany, and 2015 in Canada, and two Olympics tournaments, 2004 in Athens and 2012 in London. Altogether, she has played in 29 matches and scored 22 goals at these five international tournaments. Wambach is known for scoring goals with diving headers, a technique she began honing as a youth in her hometown of Rochester, New York. One of her most notable header goals occurred in the 122nd minute of the 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup quarterfinal match against Brazil. Wambach scored the equalizer in stoppage time helping the Americans to eventually progress to the championship final against Japan after defeating Brazil in penalty kicks. Her last-minute goal set a new record for latest goal ever scored in a match and was awarded ESPN's 2011 ESPY Award for Best Play of the Year. Following her performance at the 2011 World Cup, she was awarded the tournament's bronze boot and silver ball. When the Associated Press named her Athlete of the Year, she became the first individual soccer player ever to receive the award. July 20 was named Abby Wambach Day in Rochester and she was given a key to the city. In 2012, Wambach was awarded the 2012 FIFA World Player of the Year, becoming the first American woman to win the award in 10 years. In May 2015 she was included in Time Magazine's Time 100 list as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Born in Rochester, New York, Wambach was raised in the Rochester suburb of Pittsford. She is the youngest of seven siblings, with two sisters and four brothers, born to Pete and Judy Wambach. She began playing soccer at the age of four after her sister decided she wanted to try the sport. Their mother checked out a book from the library explaining how to play the game, and from then on soccer became part of their family tradition. I think I was bred to do what I do now, Wambach said in an interview. Growing up as the youngest of seven was like being in a team environment, you learn all kinds of things, I learned how to compete, my brothers and sisters always played with me on the same level and they never let me win until I was better than them and deserved it. Being in such a big family makes you humble. You might have a certain skill or talent but there is always someone who is better at something than you. She was as competitive as you can get. One of the first experiences where I knew she'd be better than most, was a game of catch football. I threw the ball to one of the neighbors and Abby tackled him. She got up and he was on the ground, groaning. She was 11 or 12. I don't think he was ready to get blasted. Matthew Wambach, Abby's brother. Wambach recalls being toughened up by her elder brothers firing hockey pucks at her for target practice. While playing in her first youth soccer league at age 5, she was transferred from the girls' team to the boys after scoring 27 goals in only three games. As a preteen, she began eluding defenders by heading the ball over them and running around them. Wambach attended Our Lady of Mercy High School in Rochester from 1994 to 1998, where she lettered in soccer and basketball. 
During her high school career, she scored 142 goals, including 34 in 1997 alone. Mercy's soccer coach, Kathy Boughton, recalled that Wambach would stay after practice to practice diving headers a skill that would later become her signature as an international player. Following her senior season, Wambach was named to Parade Magazine's High School All-America team. She was also voted National High School Player of the Year by Umbro and the National Soccer Coaches Association of America, NSCA. In 1997, she was named NSCA Regional Player of the Year, NSCA State of New York Player of the Year, Gatorade Circle of Champions New York Player of the Year, and cited by USA Today as one of the nation's top 10 recruits. Wambach was a three-year captain for the Rochester Spirit Club team and named All Greater Rochester Player of the Year in 1995 and 1997. She was a member of the Olympic Development Program, ODP, U16 national team in 1996, the 1997 National U20 player pool, and trained and played with the U.S. women's national soccer team while competing in the 1997 U.S. Soccer Festival in Blaine. Minnesota. In 1997, she traveled to Beijing, China, as a member of the first American youth soccer team to ever compete there. Considered the top college recruit in 1997, Wambach was intensely sought after by numerous colleges, including top soccer programs such as the University of North Carolina, UCLA, the University of Portland, and the University of Virginia. After sticking with her commitment to her parents to visit five schools, Wambach accepted a full athletic scholarship to attend the University of Florida in Gainesville, where she would play for coach Becky Burley's Florida Gators women's soccer team from 1998 to 2001. Florida's program had only been in existence for three years, however, the challenge of joining a less established team over a team like North Carolina with a long history of championship titles appealed to Wambach. As a freshman in 1998, Wambach helped lead the Gators to their first NCAA national championship over the 15-time champion North Carolina Tar Heels. The team also won four consecutive Southeastern Conference SEC, championships from 1998 to 2001. Individually, she was the SEC Freshman of the Year, 1998, a Freshman All-American, 1998, a first-team All-SEC selection for four straight seasons, 1998, 1999, 2000, 2000, and 1, a two-time SEC Player of the Year, 2000, 2000, and 1, twice received SEC Tournament Most Valuable Player Honors, 2000, 2000, and 1, and was named a first-team All-American her sophomore, junior, and senior seasons in 1999, 2000, and 2001. In addition to leading the Gators to the Final Four of the NCAA Division I Women's Soccer Tournament as a senior in 2001, Wambach set school career records for goals, 96, assists, 50, points, 242, game-winning goals, 24, and hat-tricks, 10. Over 10 years later, she remains the Florida Gators' all-time leading scorer with 96 goals. Wambach was inducted into the University of Florida Athletic Hall of Fame as a Gator great in 2012. Wambach lives in Portland, Oregon, Hermosa Beach, California, and Buffalo, New York. She has an English bulldog named Kingston. On October 5, 2013, she married her longtime partner, Sarah Huffman, in Hawaii. Wambach was amused by the level of media attention generated by the marriage and emphasized that the event was not a political statement and did not represent a coming out, because she had never been closeted, I can't speak for other people, but for me, I feel like gone are the days that you need to come out of a closet. I never felt like I was in a closet. I never did. I always felt comfortable with who I am and the decisions I made. Endorsements Wambach has signed endorsement deals with Gatorade, Nike, MVP Healthcare, and Panasonic. In 2010, she starred in a Dodge commercial with some of her national team teammates. She signed a one-year endorsement deal with Bank of America in July 2011. 
The same year, she appeared in commercials for Magic Jack Phone Service and ESPN Sports Center. In 2012, she received a gold card from Chipotle Mexican Grill which entitles her to one free burrito daily for life. Although not a formal endorsement deal, Chipotle offers the cards to well-known professional athletes who publicly express a liking for the restaurant. In the summer of 2013, she signed an endorsement deal with the New York Apple Association and was featured in television, radio, print, and online ads. In 2015, Wombach starred in a commercial for lead lighting company Cree. Philanthropy Wombach has done philanthropic work for the Epilepsy Foundation and Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. She has participated in Mia Hamm's annual Celebrity Soccer Challenge which raises money for Children's Hospital Los Angeles and the Mia Hamm Foundation. In August 2011, Wombach joined teammates Alex Morgan and Hope Solo in a Bank of America charitable campaign at the Chicago Marathon. $5,000 was donated to the Juvenile Diabetes Association on her behalf. In 2013, she became an ambassador for Athlete Ally, a nonprofit organization that focuses on ending homophobia and transphobia in sports. In popular culture, television and film, Wombach appeared in the HBO film, Dare to Dream, The Story of the U.S. Women's Soccer Team. She has made appearances on The Today Show, The Late Show with David Letterman, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and Good Morning America. She was featured on ESPN's In the Game with Robin Roberts in June 2012. In 2013, Wombach's biography was the focus of a one-hour ESPN documentary, Abby Head On. The same year, she appeared in the ESPN documentary series, 9 for 9. The 9 for 9 documentary, The 99 ERS, in which Wombach appeared focused on the success and legacy of the national team squad that won the 1999 FIFA Women's World Cup. In April 2015, Wombach joined Alex Morgan on American Idol to announce that the show's season winner would record the official song for Fox's coverage of the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup. In May of the same year, her likeness appeared on The Simpsons along with Alex Morgan and Chris and Press. Magazines Wombach posed nude in the body issue of ESPN the magazine in 2012. Of the experience, she said, bodies come in all different shapes. Bodies come in all different sizes. My body is very different than most other females. I want to show people that no matter who you are, no matter what shape you are, that's still beautiful. In May 2015, Wombach was featured on the cover of ESPN magazine with teammates Sidney LaRue and Alex Morgan.